the oldest American soccer championship trophy. America's greatest teams battled for this trophy until 1924, and then it disappears. The first time I saw it was in a photograph from 1885. I teach the global history of soccer at Rutgers Newark in New Jersey. Once I saw that picture of the trophy, I needed to know more. So I got into the archives, the Newark Public Library, reel by reel. I learned that it was not only the oldest trophy in American soccer history, but one of the oldest national competitions in the world. But where was the trophy? It wasn't in a museum. U.S. soccer didn't have it. No one knew where it was. I decided to drive to North Carolina. I'm just obsessed with it. And when you walk into these archives, I mean, it looks like the last scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, just row upon row upon row of boxes and documents, like, where the hell is this proof gonna be? And I pull out a file. I open it up, and I start looking through it. I found a map, a treasure map. It's what all historians dream of. And it had an address on it, Forney, Texas. I was hooked right then and there that this trophy didn't disappear. This trophy was real and it existed. It hasn't seen the light of day in 25 years. It's been locked away in this vault in a small town. It's the Holy Grail. I finished class, I head for Newark Airport. I'm on my way, touchdown in Dallas. The anticipation is killing me. Phil Saragusa. Tom McKay. Are we gonna see this thing? We're gonna see the Holy Grail, yes sir. I feel like a knight of the round table. <laughs> I, I think everyone's excited, including you. I know you're excited. Thanks for having me, it's a privilege. <laughs> can't believe it. It's been a long time coming. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see it. We're all excited. Go through. Okay, Go through. thank you. I'll do it here. <laughs> it's right in here inside the vault. This is it, man. Oldest soccer trophy in American soccer history. Yes. And we're gonna see it. Okay. After you. Thank you. It's in this thing, Here man. it is, yes sir. Look at that. It's the, look at that bat, man. That is yeah. a peculiar. It may not be bat. in here. It better be. I hope so. I'm in trouble if it's not. It's the <laughs> relic. It, this is Let's it. Take a look, huh? It's in that bag, you sure? It better be. It could be a cardboard box in here. Oh, please don't tease me. <laughs> All right. We're going to go to the local museum, and at that point, I'll reveal. You promise? I promise. Not to be too mysterious, but you know. Ah, uh, come on now. <laughs> All right, I'll follow you. All right, sounds good. This is a case of trophy hunting. You're trying to hunt down where it is, what it is, and it's a really significant piece because it's the oldest in American soccer history. But on a fundamental level, it proves to the rest of the world, like we had soccer here in the 1880s and before, and it's just as old as anywhere in the world. Phil Saragusa from Forney, Texas. I knew it was an important piece and probably needed to be in a museum. But at the time, I was trying to find out just information of exactly what was this piece. Well, it's uh, time to see. The Holy Grail, here we go. Wrapped in a Dallas Stars towel, huh? Well, I want to keep it safe. Oh my. Can I? Yes. Oh, wow. This is spectacular. Look at this, the engravings. This is it, this is the real thing. This is the American Football Association trophy. 
1884. Mm -hmm. And on the bottom, the markings of Tiffany. Oh, there it is. Tiffany and Company. Mm -hmm. Serial number, Union Square. That's correct. New York City. It was one of their first pieces. Oh, and it's got a serial number on it. So this thing's verified. It is verified. You've had it appraised. That's correct. So this is the real McCoy. This goes with the documents I got here. I mean, it, I mean when I look at the first one, 1884, they're saying a handsome prize cup of the value of 300 or 400 was ordered from Tiffany and Company and is now on view in New York City and will shortly be exhibited in Newark. That's 1884. That's pretty cool. And then look, this one's saying the same thing, saying three to four hundred dollars, gonna be on exhibit. But here, this is what's cool. It says, it is a vase about 13 inches high, surmounted by a Roman athlete. Where's the Roman athlete? Never had it. So you bought it in this condition? That's correct. So according to the pictures I've seen, there would have been an, a top here with a, an athlete, they call a Roman athlete, but it was a, a runner. They, soccer was so unpopular in the United States that they had to get a little sterling silver ball and put it on its toe. Oh, I see a goal post. It's a goal post and it right. looks like there's a partial one. And that's like soldered on, right? So you, you would have lost the top and the goal post here. ONT, it was for Clark Threadmill and ONT was our new thread. So this is a company that made vast fortune with sewing needle thread. Right. And Clark sold that. They brought all these immigrants over who played soccer and worked in the mills. In so this was a mill team right here. They won it in 85, 86, and 87. Wow, okay. So it stayed in New Jersey, and then it goes in 1887, 88, goes, they said down east, but it was up in Massachusetts, Fall River, another textile town. So it was all kind of textile mills, players coming from Europe. And then as you go through here, I mean, you see another New Jersey, True Blues, Caledonia, another Kearney team. But this is the one I want to talk about right here. Arlington Athletic Association, 1897-98. Another Kearney team, John Swithenby, who had played on these first three teams for ONT, player coach. They win it again. And John takes the trophy. He had a bar by that time on Passaic Avenue, put it up on the shelf, displayed, told the old war stories, and he had it. The competition goes out of favor. I think it was a local depression. They didn't play for it. Soccer wasn't as organized. And then it shows back up in 1906. And Swithenby gives the trophy back to the competition. He had pawned it. Oh. John had pawned the trophy. He, tough times. Tough times. In a Newark pawn shop across the river. Must have gone back to get it. And then he gifted or sold it back to the competition. It's unclear. But right. the trophy comes back and then it just disappears. I have no idea where the trophy is at that point and what happens to it in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And then you come into the picture. Tell me that story. I became aware that uh, they had a piece in Canton, Texas, and so I went to Canton, Texas, and saw the piece. And I knew when I saw it and read it, and I didn't know how it placed in sports memorabilia, but I knew it was important and probably should be in a museum. After looking at some of the markings on it and so forth, I just felt like it was a good piece. What convinced you? Was it the Tiffany? I think Tiffany was was the key because, you know, their stuff is always valuable. Highest quality. You know, that as well as the sports avenue of it. The rarest trophy in American soccer history is on some table in a flea market in the middle of Texas, first Monday. That's insane. Canton, Texas, uh, first Monday is a huge flea market. Approximately 100 acres, you can buy nearly anything there. Anything that's for sale can be bought in Canton, Texas on first Monday. When I first saw the trophy, I thought it was 
American football as we know it today. I mean, the history of it dates back so far and still lots of mystery to this piece that needs to be unveiled. I have no idea how it got to Texas. I'm glad it did because I became part of it, but I have no knowledge of that. What can you buy at this flea market? Anything. What, like cattle? They sell any and everything, and it's been around since the 1800s. First Monday. So this first Monday, <laughs> you rode out there about an hour away, and you laid eyes on this for the first time. That's correct. And then you've had it in the vault ever since? Approximately 25 years. Wow. Not heavy. It weighs five pounds, I weighed it. Yeah. Wonder if there's any beer in there, right? Yeah. Celebrate <laughs> that. I mean, this thing has seen it all. I mean, it's got some dings and some dents and some blemishes, but I mean, this, this is history in your hands. And the fact that it's American soccer history, it just makes it so rare, so valuable, and just, you know, an amazing relic. Would it be one of the first pieces of sports memorabilia? Well, it's among the oldest in the world too, right? If you go over to England and Scotland, they would have many kind of regional trophies and some national trophies, but it's of a national competition, it's one of the oldest in the world too. Not only the oldest in the United States, one of the oldest in the world. Wow. So rare. I mean, just really good shape. You got it appraised, right? I did have it appraised. What did they tell you? 25 years ago, 50,000. We have the history that is also part of this cup, which makes it more valuable. The appraiser was not bona fide to do sports, but he was bona fide to do silver pieces and, you know. So an expert in Tiffany appraises it for $50,000. It, yes. So in your mind, as a piece of precious metal, $50,000. 25 you, years ago. 25 years ago. And then you add on the sporting value. So it's north of 50. I'd say way north. I mean, I, I feel like almost like a champion, like holding this up. <laughs> well, right? you can and you should probably. Is, I didn't play to win this, but, but I put the and, work in. Oh, what, what is that? Trophy of the American Football Association for the competition for annually. And then it says 1884. Mm -hmm. So on that shield in the front. Come on, how much you want for it? Yeah. <laughs> how much you want for it? <laughs> this would look so good on my mantle. Oh, I bet. But you think it should go in a museum, huh? I really think it does. And I, I thought it then, and I still believe it should. You know the there's enemy. a local museum here, right? Not uh, this one. I know. The I, National I, Soccer Hall of Fame. I understand. That should be prominently displayed there, huh? It's a piece of history. It's the oldest piece of American soccer history that I've ever laid my eyes on and had my hands on. Thank you. Thank you. There's still so much mystery surrounding this trophy. As a historian, I need to know more. Where was it all those years? Will it ever end up in a museum? Would Tiffany and company restore it to its former glory? <laughs>